Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my new SVG that is part of the Graduation Pop Twist gift card. And it's actually a little gift box that you can enclose your little gift card that you're going to be giving out to your graduate. So this is the SVG and I will include this with the um, Pop Twist card so it's all in one inclusive. And for that, you're going to need, of course, your glue. I'm going to use both Fabri-Tac and the Barely Art. I will also be using dimensionals and a transparency film or any type of acetate film that you might have. Um, you'll also need some um, Velcro, and I got these from Dollar Tree. And I think that's about it. And let's begin. All right. So what I'm going to do is... I am going to glue down these layers. So we're going to mat those up like so. And when you get your file, and we're working on a website, um, what you're going to do is make sure you extract the file and save it. Once you've extracted it and either uh, uploaded it to Silhouette Studio or your Cricut, if you're doing it on Cricut, make sure you always, always, um, on the lines that are scored, like the little score lines, make sure on Cricut you go in there and select the perforated lines for that. The, that particular layer has to be perforated because I know that Cricut doesn't tend to do that uh, on its own. All right, so let's go ahead and glue that. And one thing I do ask is, um, be mindful and do not share any of the files, but if you're interested in the Pop Twist card, um, contact me via email and I will put my email below so that you can contact me directly. And once you pay with PayPal, I will email you the file for the entire collection, which includes also these little embellishments that you see here. Um, my bone folder. Go ahead and bring that up. Like so. so we're gonna mat these in, and then we're gonna glue these down to the gift box template. It's very simple, very easy peasy not too difficult. See, that's why I love working with battery type. So we're going to do that for all these pieces that you see here. I'm going to put those aside and we'll come back to that. You probably need some tweezers for the numbers because those are fairly small. So when you're picking those up, it's a little bit harder, especially if you have arthritis in your hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mat all these in, just like so. And on this one here, what I did is I mat this one because this one goes right like so, like that. But what I do is I take the smaller little piece and you can cut this on cardstock or glitter paper. I purchased this glitter paper from um, Amazon and you can purchase whatever or use whatever. Um, what I suggest that you do is always keep it grouped so that it's sized perfectly. Now the box itself is about four and a half by four and a half by two inches. Um, so keep that in mind. And it's made for that box, for that gift card that I designed. Um, but of course, if you have something else in mind that you wanna use it for, you can do that. And like I said, you can make these as many as you want, as long as you always give credit and credit is where credit is due. And also do not share or resell my files. That's all I ask. Okay. So once I have that there, 
<clears throat> you can take this one here, which is the bigger one, and slide it right in there, like so. And then we'll take and use my fabric tie. And I'm using like an 80 pound weight cardstock, which is about 250 GSM, I believe. Um, you want to always use heavier weight cardstock. I don't recommend using a 60 pound weight, and that's because it's too light. One, when you're cutting it with your machines, it will tend to tear a lot easier and it becomes very frustrating. Let's see that's right. It gets very frustrating. And so you wanna make sure you stay away from that lightweight cardstock. I know it's cheaper and when you're on a budget, to totally understand that you really, ideally you want to invest a little bit on good quality. Now eventually I will try to use, do some videos as far as how you maneuver things and drop images into some of these templates that you can do that. Okay, so then I'm going to assemble this and you're going to get this to this little banner here. I'm going to assemble this as well. I'm going to move that aside. I will need my tweezers. We'll try to find that here in a bit. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I appreciate all the new subscribers. And I've gotten a lot of messages about my files. We are working on a website so that you guys can download those files a lot more easier. I'm trying to stay away from Etsy. Um, I don't find it cost efficient for me. Um, so we're trying to stay away from Etsy as far as, as best as we can. Now this one here, you can put some dimensions if you want. I forgot to do that, but you can put some little dimensionals on there just to kind of give that a little bit of an elevational dimensional effect. Um, but that's again entirely up to you. Now then you'll have this here again. This will be part of your file. Um, and, and then you'll have these numbers. And I'm going to go ahead and glue the numbers like so. So you'll have the base and then you'll have your offsets. And I just kind of squeeze a little bit, it seeps a little bit of glue, I let it dry up and then I come in with my rubber eraser and kind of clean it up a little bit. It does dry clear. squeeze it here and there, you know. easy it's so easy and it makes it 
so much easier. Instead of having to go to Hobby Lobby and buying those little gift box, you know, over and over, you, you do really do save on the long run if you cut out your little own gift boxes. Um, it's more cost effective, I think, me personally. I'm going to clean my tip out. And then you have this little base here. And again, you can get your dimensionals out. And I'm going to go ahead and um, cut out my dimensions. Pops. I just kind of put one in here. Grab my exacto knife. And uh, make it a little bit thinner because those letters are thin. and put some dimensional pops on all these and we'll be back. Okay. So I don't normally trust the adhesive from um, the dimensional, so I just add a little bit of that on top. So that's going to go right there. So. Fairly easy to assemble, as you can see. Very easy. Easy peasy. for those of you guys that contacted me about this particular uh, graduation twist pop SVG I let you guys know that I was adding on this is what I was planning on adding on um, just because I wanted to give you just a little bit more to work with
wanted to let you know if you wanted to make this part here a shaker you can do so by adding some dimensions to the front and then applying some of the shaker such as sequins or any type of glitter that you might have now we're going to start to crease our perforated edges using our bone folder just make sure you're very careful that you do not tear the perforated edges okay so go ahead and crease and we'll be back So, and this here, you can put it wherever you want, but I am going to put it right around here, like so. Go ahead and remove the backing. differently however you want to do it entirely up to you I think I put some dimensions on that though I'm gonna put some dimensions on that I didn't on the other but I will for this one I said you can make a little nice shaker with the window it'll be really really nice and it'll be nice and ready for of course we gotta let that glue I'll let that glue glue in let that glue let that dry let the glue dry <laughs> um but you guys know what I mean Alright, we'll let that glue dry up and then we'll add our little album. Of course, this is gold, um, but there is some gold on this one here. There is gold on it. And it pops up. And you can put your little gift card on there. Um, right here. Some 
some treats in there, whatever you want, you know. And again, I have to wait till this kind of dries up a little bit because it's not totally dry, but I think that is absolutely a cute little gift that you can give to your graduate. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And again, as I said before, if you have any ideas of what you would like for me to design, just send me a message and then I'll be happy to look at it. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.